guys, I'm going to be showing you a video on the on set number 8293 Lego Technic Power Functions. And um, on many sets, you can add this onto it, like the full box. On a lot of sets, it says Power Function set number 8293 required to make it motorized and all that. Well, I'm going to be doing a review on all of that. Um, it came with some gears, but I have that in my gearbox right now. So, we're just going to be reviewing the main objects about this video. The motor, the lever, and the LED lights. But, um, yeah. That's really very... I like the LED lights a lot. You could probably add that to, like, a another motorized set. You could just hook it up to the battery box once you switch it on it'll be there and you can hook it up like I I hooked it up to my crawler and it was uh, fairly nice so yeah first we're going to be doing a review on the battery box here battery box requires uh, six batteries all that so turns forward backward or backward and forward and all that so you can flip it. Um, yeah. Now we're going to do the lever. What you can do with the lever is... Let me hook it up here. Let me go get something really quick. Now look, what you can do with the lever is, um, uh, you just do that. Turn it on. Now look, what's different about the lever than all of the other objects is that it is a lot different than this. Even though the battery pack has a lever, it's got some more additional things. Like it's got a, a button that helps invert, that helps invert the lever. I'm just uh, doing the, I'm just doing the inverting part of it. And all that, but um, this one has an inverting um uh, lever. However, the battery box does not. And also, this one actually has a central in it. All this has is forward, off, backward, off. This actually has a central. This is forward, central, backward, and all that. That's what it pretty much has. On the lights, it's either way. So. Let me uh, unplug the le the motor and do these lights. And yes, it can run more than two things, but I'm just going to show you the lights because I don't want the noise. Then these lights are fairly bright. They're very nice. You can just uh, plug them into little things and do little lights. Here, let me do that really quick. Okay, playing the video. You can have it on like some red lights right now. Some little, little red lights. Or you can take them out and put them in some white lights and all that. And uh, these actually are a fairly tight fit when you put them in there. So they're not going to come out that easily and all that. So, yeah, they're not going to come on that easily and all that. Also, the lever... It's also made for some other things, too. Like, um, you can, uh, stick something in here in the top, have a big, big old little thing here going on. Forward and backward. And also, one more thing you can do is, here, let me switch this. Get something out really quick here. You can also stick this through the side. There's a little thing from there. Switch that. You got a hole in the side to where you could stick one of these uh, cross axe uh, axis things. Uh, one of those things. And you can stick it through the side and then maneuver it from there. And all that. That's what's just different about that. So the lever just has more uh, 
probabilities than this lever on the battery pack does. So that's what that mostly is. It's more of a, it's more of a precise kind of lever than this. Also, yes, this does work as a battery. And all that. So the lights Yes, yes, yes. They uh, still work on the battery pack lever, too. So, that's pretty much it. With this set, besides for those levers and all, besides for those uh, gears and all that, but uh, luckily for Christmas, I got a whole box full of them. Got a bunch. And all that. Here, wait a second. How did this get in here? Okay, never mind. It's just something that goes to another set. Um, I got a whole box of gears and all that, so I'll be busy building things with this, like little race cars and all that that I can just activate by just a little lever switch. And also, I've got two battery packs so far, four motors. I got one in motor, two lar one medium motor, two large motors, and a servo. And then I've got a lever, receiver, and a remote with a Lego Technic crawler and all that. So I I've got a good starter. I've got a good kick start on some Lego Technic here. So that's pretty much what I've got with today's video on uh, this power functions set and all that. Also, one more thing. It does come the little pamphlet thing object power functions on here. You can open it up. Opens up fairly large. Yeah. It just shows it tells you information about this in a bunch of whole different languages. Shows you how to do the battery pack here. All that. Then it shows you different sets you can motorize. And all that. Like that race car right there. That rad race car. And then this truck that just puts a dumpster on the back of it. I didn't really see the point in that one right there. Of that little set right there. But, um, it's just got a pamphlet of the different sets you can motorize. I didn't really see the point in some of these sets, but, eh, got your pamphlet. That's pretty much it with all of this stuff. You got your lights. Probably the one I'm going to be using a lot is the lights and the battery packs to make little race cars and all that, but otherwise, I got, it's a really nice set and all that. It's, the wires are a little stiff when you get them, but they'll, over time, they'll start to get a little curvy and all that. Nice and good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Lego, this Lego Technic set of all this stuff. And, um, hope you guys join me in my next video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.